Energy is one of the greatest challenges we have, and so it is providing a resilient infrastructure to deliver electricity and communications to every community. I wanted to share this picture with you because it has a powerful message to me. This picture shows the grid in all the country. It's a view of the world at night that shows where communities are and how communities and big cities are connected to each other. We can see in the middle of a picture two continents, Africa and Europe. And guess what continent has more people? It's Africa, but it's difficult to guess because we can barely see connections between cities and countries there, and it has twice the population of Europe. Now I want to share a story with you. This is my homeland, a place with amazing landscapes in the south of Argentina, and two years ago, I went there to visit my family. And two days before that, something really bad happened. There was a big storm that created a flood in the oil fields, and one million people was without electricity for three weeks. I experienced seven days without electricity until the utility company connected my house back. And that, I have to say, is really bad if you need to study, if you are used to electricity at night, if you are used to watching videos, movies, listening to music, or calling your friends. And this shows also another powerful message. This is centralized power sources. And when these centralized power sources are cut off the grid, you don't have electricity anymore. This is another picture that shows something that I see every morning when I go to my job in Buenos Aires, which is a neighborhood called Villa 31. There's two million people in Argentina right now living in these conditions, and there's 10 million people that live in similar neighborhoods that experience three, an average of three power cuts every week. This is a team that works at Nidro. Nidro, it's a social impact startup based in Argentina that builds a power and telecommunications infrastructure that is decentralized and it incorporates distributed sources of energy, especially clean energy, clean tech. This is the first MVP that we are going to use. This is a power meter. Power meters are difficult to manage, are difficult to work with because they need to be certified because of security issues and commercial issues. So now we are adapting this technology that will be connected to the power meter from outside to take all the information that we need to connect these houses and send this information back to a cloud in order to provide better services in the future and to allow these houses to share not only internet but also to share connectivity through the grid. We have social impact scientists, we have economists, politicians, and we are also engaging with IEEE Smart Grid, which is the leading organization for microgrids in the world. We're also happy to say that we are starting a partnership with an NGO called Techo on June this year. These guys are amazing. They made houses for homeless people. And we're going to build the first decentralized power grid in Argentina with them for 50 houses that look just like that in a place in the north of Argentina. We are not only providing light, it's not about light. This is about education, it's about prosperity, it's about better jobs, it's about better opportunities, and it's a worldwide issue. This is a roadmap. We hope to have a fully deployed solution by the end of 2019, and we have all this time to talk with utilities and NGOs to engage with them and to start rebuilding and rewiring our grids in Argentina and having a plan to expand to Latin America. We are Nidro, we are a startup based in Argentina that builds decentralized power and telecommunication solutions, quickly deployable, easy to use, plug and play, and secure. Thank you.